So welcome back all of you. And then uh, today uh, we had a problem by one of our students, Chitty. And then it is actually not a problem. Uh, it's a future actually. I have forgotten to tell about that. The good one that what happens he has brought in. So let me go and then show it to you what exactly. So he has created an item actually. He has created an item. And then I will now show you in the master shop. I mean, the CMO is his master shop. I will now click on it. <clears throat> So if you go on and have a look at the specifications, <coughs> go there and then go to the order management. He has enabled back to back. Back to back is enabled. So when the back to back is enabled, you are going to fulfill the customer's needs by. Okay. So here, if you enable the back to back, So once when you enable the back to back, what happens? You have to fulfill the customer's needs by buy, make, or transfer. Apart from that, it has it has be uh, what happens? There is one more functionality which has been requested by one of our customers, and then there what happens? We have enabled the back to back, but we are not set up the GOP fully at all. I will not show you, but how it is now. So let me get it, and then how it is not set fully on the GOP front. So this is a standard functionality. You go to that, what's it called? <coughs> I will now go to the supply chain execution and then I will now go to the global order form. Is it? it is not there, it is in uh, order management tab, isn't it? In order management, yeah. order management. so here <coughs> we will have in the order management, we have only one such function. And then you go to the what's called manage ATP rules now. Go there and then here I will go to search now. <clears throat> so, what are the ADP rule you are using now? Uh, chitti, Nana, same starts with Chitti. It's there, Nana, down. Chitti, I have no query now. You click on ADP. So, it's an infinite availability ADP. It's an infinite availability ADP, and then here. What is done is what is the org level assignments. So he has made an infinite ATP. Infinite ATP is basically for non GOP, but we can use it for GOP also. <coughs> for GOP, if you are using it, what happens? You are having an org level assignments. And apart from that, what happens? There is no other setup on the uh, sourcing rules as well as assignment sets. Right. There will not be any setups on the sourcing rules and assignment sets. You go there. If you go to the managed sourcing rules, you will not have any assignments now. Fine, click on such now. Fine, nothing will be there. As such, uh, I know that you are not set anything, isn't it? Uh, no, 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 no. I haven't set anything. Sourcing rule. In the sourcing rules and assignment sets, what happens? There will not be any setup. Fine. This is a standard functionality. Fine. In the managed assignment sets also, what happens? You will not be having any setups at all. Now, we will now see what, how it's going to behave when, when you go for a sales order. This is uh, requested by one of the customers and then it has been implemented by us now. Fine. But uh, uh, I have forgotten to tell them. Actually. So here, what happens? You will now go to the order management and then let us now create an order. So, Kajiti, I'm going to consume three of your stock now. <laughs> <laughs> sure, then. not more than that. <laughs> because there is a problem in the present system. What happens? You are having this. What are the customer is what Chitti or what? Yeah, Chitti, no, no. Chitti. <clears throat> the present system. What happens? We are unable to populate the stock as it is. So I am not putting the customer over here now. Let me go for the Chitti one with the three quantities. <clears throat> Three points. I know that has been enabled and then manage ADP people is enabled and then nothing else is there. So, three points. so click on add. You're adding it. And then here we are going to put the populate the varrows also. So it's almost like a non GOP and then the GOP put together. So click on add. So we are adding it now. Click on it. And then here go there. In this place. 
here for example, I go to the supply and then I will add the organization. So what is the organization name? Uh, CC01. CC01. Uh, it will not come now. Uh, we need to say, go with search only. Okay, yes, it's not coming. Okay. CC01. You can search. Uh, give C only. No, no. Chitty. Yeah. Search and see. CC01, this one. Huh? Yeah, no, no. Mm. And that's it. What happens? Sir? We go and then save it, and then we are now going to. We have a sufficient stock also. Go there, click on submit now. We'll be having a sufficient stock. But this will not get reserved at all. So this will not be getting reserved because this is not through the normal routes of scheduling and reservation. It occurs in sales orders fail because the order management is a thousand, another version of the sales order. What happened? What did they say? Uh, what happened? It's not save now. We will create one more. Again, not save. So we put the customer over here. Go there and go to three quantities and click on that. Supply. Mm -hmm. the is having problem no, here. Where it was always child or two, no, child or one, isn't it? No, no, it's not not, not mine. No, no. Somebody else, this is. Oh, something else. Okay. Zero. Yeah. Now only CC you give now. Yeah, yeah. You are given CC O one, I think, not zero one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that is O only. <laughs> so I have given zero and then one of them. Okay. The same now, first of all, whether it is now saving or not. Saving. So three point nine is a one. I will take a copy of it and then I will not submit for the one. Okay, so refresh it and then here what happens before I go for that, I will not go on the duplicate and then I will not show you the stops also. So let me go and then show a stop. So I go to the supply chain execution and then I go to the inventory management. Now let me show the stock for you. Click on it. We go to the manage item quantities and then query for item. CHA. Chitty one. And then search. Expand it. Now you are in the CC1 organization, and then if you go on and click on the view availability, so you can now see 979 is available. 979 is available to reserve, but against this order, there will not be any reservation at all. So 979 is available to reserve and transact now. You can go there. Uh, 979 is available to reserve and transact because he has already consumed another 11, isn't it? Fine, Chitty? Yeah, no, no, so 11 I consume. You are not, order. In, you're not in, then the shipping asset basically because of which yeah. he already consumed 11 now. Fine, he has already picked and then kept over there. That is why it is not known for 979 actually. So if you go and then see that what's called your uh, reservations, you won't find any reservation at all. <clears throat> and this is one of the functionality provided by Oracle and then this is desired by one of the customers and then we have done it for all the items like this one. If you go to the manager reservations and picks, you won't find a, a, a what happens if you go and then search for the item. Chitty. And then you would have, and then click on search. Uh, Chitty one standard item. Huh? Yeah, no, no. And then click on search now. And now we need to search now. Click on search. So once when you search for it, what happens? You know, see, there is nothing at all here. You no, know, expand it. The 11 quantities it will not show, but not the present quantities. Click on it. So if you expand it, what happens? The 11 quantities he has already uh, done it for another one, but not for our sales order. So our sales order is what? This is not our sales order. It is uh, his previous sales order of what? 18350. What is our sales order number? 359. 359. 
So for which it is not there. Now we'll now go on and see the progression of this. Switch to fulfillment view and then have a look at the progression now. So we'll now see about how it's progressing on the fulfillment line. Can click on the fulfillment line. <coughs> On the fulfillment line, and then click on this do number now. Click on the do number. Go there. So after scheduling, it is not a reservation actually. So when you are putting yeah, what's called the infinite GOP on the manage ATP rule, as well as uh, what happens, you are not setting up anything on the sourcing rules as well as assignment sets, and then you are populating your uh, 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 varrows on the order header. It has to come as reserve. But since the item is back to back enabled, what happens is now requesting a supply actually. A request orchestration of supply is now coming because of the back to back. And then what happens? It has now gone progress to wedding shipping without a reservation. Mm -hmm. Now let us go there and then try to pick it now. And we'll click on pick it. And we'll duplicate it and then try to pick it. The picking will now fail actually. The picking will fail. So uh, this is the way it operates actually. In supply chain execution. The picking is going to fail. Click on it. So here I will now go to the shipping shipments, <clears throat> and then I will now go to what uh, manage shipment lines one eight three five nine one eight three five nine, and then here I will now say before, <clears throat> and I give a such if you give a before also I think it's working at the you know sometimes it yeah it'll work no no it'll come yeah it'll work. So I go to the actions and then I go to the what pick release. I click on pick release, actions pick release, and I'm going to pick it now. So the picking will now fail actually. Fine, we've now launched the concurrent now. So if you go on and see the picking will fail actually. So even can you see this? Click on it. So the picking is going to fail actually. I don't know whether it will now give you explicit failure there or not. So you go to the scheduled process. Release pick wave. Warning, no, no, it's warning out. Warning, warning itself was it is not picked at all. It is not picked. So what uh, the business process says is what. So once when it is done, what happens? The CSR will be discussing with the uh, customer regarding an advance for this. So the customer has provided what happens within uh, two hours time or three hours time. I'm going to provide advance or within a day or two. What happens? He is now providing advance. So only upon advance, what happens? He will now go there. That company they they do like this. That's why I'm saying, fine. They go there. And then they will now make a manual reservation. Click on the create reservation and then they will now make a manual reservation. 18359, isn't it? Yeah. No. So, one. 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 will be listed over here on the create reservation form, but there will be no reservation at all. So one eight three five nine is the one. And three quantities are there. Nothing is reserved. So now the customer says, "Okay, fine. For one quantity, I will not pay an advance." You say it's a hundred percent advance. That is what you are asking for. Now he is uh, he is now saying that advance I will not pay advance for one. So click on it. What happens? You are now going to create a reservation. So in the bottom, what happens? There is a plus symbol here now. Fine. Click on. It. You select the line first of all, and then I click on the plus now. You click on plus, and then now you are going to make a reservation for one quantity. So they click on search now. Fine. Make a blank search. It may come now. We make a blank search. All availability quantity. Fine. We'll click on it. So against which what happened? The reserve quantity is one because the customer is not paying advance only for one. So go there and then click on what save now. Click on one and then give a OK now. Fine. Reserve quantity is one and then give a OK. <clears throat> CC01 and then reserve quantity is one and then give a OK. So now one quantity is reserved now. Fine. If you go on and refresh it. What happens? It will be coming outside. Now. Seven close now. We have seven close. So you can now see a reservation of what happens one quantity in the outside area. It may not be coming here. Or in this place, what happens? You can now see one entry. Now we'll go and then launch the pick release again. So I will now go there. We go to the actions, actions, and then I will now launch the pick release again. <clears throat> we are launching the pick release. <clears throat> we are now launching it. We will go to the monitor process. What happens? It may be a partial success actually. Only one. Is known as a succeeded on a pick release. It succeeded previously, it was warning now. Fine, we'll click on it now, and then we'll now go and then give a save and close, and then have a look at it. <clears throat> Saving and closing now. You can see one is staged, and then two is also staged. Actually, it's not coming as a staged actually, uh, but reservation is only for one now. I, I don't think whether it will now allow you to pick or not. Fine, we'll click on it. 
So in that company, what happens is they normally uh, pick everything or they don't pick at all. That is why they operate. Now. Let us see what whether we are able to uh, what happens with this. I will now go for a ship to quantity of one now. I will not put the ship to quantity of one, and then what happens? No, we will see. And then here, the ship to quantity is going to be zero now. So we can even configure it to whichever way you want actually. Something over here, what happens? It will be done. Now, even picking didn't happen before reservation, but after reservation, after a partial reservation, what happens? No picking, etc. No, fine, go there. So is a two and then zero, fine, click on it. Now. So you have to do this. This I already taught you, but how to do it now? So we are going to do the ship and then if you go with the ship confirmation, what happens? One will be shipped and then two will be back ordered. Actually. So click on ship confirmation. <coughs> ஒன் <laughs> Uh, give up. the ship method was not there that's what you saying now we can even bypass this actually it's there na chitti you try chitti you can it's there yeah so let me give a ship confirmation of this he did that he was it is giving an error actually not from watching so no that is not happening now so now how about it how so now If it, what happens? It is not shipped. Both of them are shipped. God, the, that is the reason. What happens? Uh, the method has not been done properly because of which what happens is not giving this because he is not recognizing whatever you are writing over here now. So how to do that? I will tell you. Right click on that. Duplicate and then I will not do it. Hmm. You click on it and then you click on the setup and maintenance. and then you go to the task now you click on search <clears throat> it's manage ship and form rules you go to the task manage ship confirmation so if you go to this task manage ship confirmation rules uh, uh, your rule is charge is starting in city na yeah no check Oh, no, I think organization no, no. CC, CC, zero. CC, okay. Go one. Uh, what are the name you know? CC, go one, right? Yeah, yeah, no. Go one. Capital rules, isn't it? Capital rules. Yeah. Ship okay, I'm unable to find out his rule actually. I will not show you a generic rule about Where exactly are the search? The form like where we talk about it. So here uh, he has put as a requested quantity. So even if you say two has to be one has to be shipped and then two has to be back ordered, it will not do. If you go to the ship quantities with what happens uh, ship requested quantities, then what happens? It will be one of the answer. Got it, city? Yeah, yeah, I understood. Now. Then what happens on the ship confirmation uh, action? If you put one as a ship and then two as a back order, then it will honor. If you say requested quantities, whatever you put on that place, it will not be honored at all. Go. Oh, it means sales order. Whatever we put, it will come. Okay. Here, if you put whatever in the sales order, how much you want to back order, it will be back ordered. Yeah. So one of our customer is using like this now. So what they do is they perform what a pick release only after reservation. Then CSR is holding the reservation is done. he will now wait for the customer to give a comment and then they normally pick everything they don't partially pick anything like that so uh, what happens out of let us say uh, he has asked for 1000 us dollars as the sales order so you would have asked for 400 dollars as advance so if he has given that advance he will now reserve everything and then he will now make a pick he will allow the what happens the warehouse manager to pick it so this way is that do the very good feature and then this is the way you have to do it again again repeat now fine you have to enable the back to back as s and then on the manage atp rules you had to have a infinite atp for all the orgs and then do not set anything on the sourcing rules as well as assignment sets now what happens you got this functionality obtained is it clear to you 
Yeah, no, no. Thank you very much, ma'am. And the shift confirmation. What happens? You have to make it as a requested quantities. Uh, no, do not make the requested quantities. Click on the shift to quantities, and then that that way, what happens? We can even control a partial shipping in the shipping. shift confirmation form. Yeah, yeah. So Got it, ma'am. Actually, because we have set it up uh, in one of the Saudi customers for like this, and all the items are basically back to back enabled, and then this way it works actually. Thank you very much, Nana. Okay, thank you for what happens. Uh, coming late in the night, and then <laughs> no problem, Nana. Yeah, I learn new things. <laughs> That's what always. Yeah, I'll be putting it on my my BB board. I mean, you can just... Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, Nana. I'll download that again. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Nana. Bye, bye.